how to wire a surge protector on a furnace. Your furnace, as we've talked before, will be running over 120. So first things first, make sure that there's no power going to the furnace. Uh, turn off the light switch that is typically in the attic or right next to it. Take your meter, make sure that you have no power between your black one and your white one. You should not be reading 120 currently. As uh, You can also check for good ground. The way you would do that is put one lead on the black wire, the other lead to chassis or the ground right there. You should be reading zero volts. Just to be on the safe side, go from your white one to ground also, you should be reading zero volts. At this point, we know there's no power going to the unit and we can work nice and safely. So um, first things first, your black wire, which is right here coming from the house, typically will be your hot wire, your 120. Your neutral is typically gonna be the white one that basically provides you your neutral to your furnace. You will also see that the white one on the furnace side, if you, if you follow it, it's going to go down to your board while your black one is going to go through your door switch right there and then down to the board too. If you follow into the board themselves, you'll see the white one is hooked up to neutral while the black one is going to be hooked up to power. If we look at our surge protector, we have four wires. We're going to have the black one, the green one, a white one, and another black one. The black ones are going to be the hot legs for your surge protector. The white one's going to be your neutral and your ground to ground. So let's see how we're going to wire this in. Ground is a simple one. I will start with that. So ground will go to ground. So right there. And then your white one, which is your neutral, will go to the neutral wire of the furnace. So white was going to go with the other two white wires. Now, this is where things sometimes get a little bit uh, confusing for a lot of techs. There's only one hot leg here, but you do have two black wires on your surge protector. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these two black wires together to this one. So you're going to have four black wires all together. So the two black wires from the surge protector are going to hook up to the black wire coming from the house itself. When everything's done, basically turn everything back on. The three little lights on your surge protector should be nice and green. That basically indicates that your surge protector is on, working properly. If the three lights are not on, uh, you probably did something wrong with your wiring. When you're done, make sure everything's nice and tight. You have good wire nuts here that all the wires are nice and tight and turn the power back on. Again, as long as you have three lights lit on your surge protector, you know that you have good connections and everything's wired right. If not, turn everything back off and redo it.